Happy Wednesday, traders. I'm Clayton Allen, host of the Day Trading Plumber and founder here at Allen FX. If you are new to this YouTube channel, go ahead and hit subscribe, hit the alerts. Uh, if you want to catch all these videos, I do a Sunday setup video every Sunday before the markets open. And then the one you're watching now is the midweek review, where we go through and we say, okay, now we're at the midpoint of the week. What is price doing between these pivots, our weekly pivots? Uh, and guys, I use the standard weekly pivot indicator on TradingView. It's, I use the Fibonacci settings. Uh, and for this and most of the videos you see my Sunday, I'm just looking at where the pivot is and R2. Uh, Intra-week, intra uh, I take a lot of intra-session trades. I use different indicators on those. Uh, but I'm just wanting to get a feel for what price is doing midweek. And I don't want to waste any more of your time. If you got any questions or comments, you want to see more, follow me on TradingView. F find my podcast called The Day Trading Plumber. It's everywhere. You can find it everywhere. There's a link down below. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about Forex, and you know I do have online courses. I know I'm not the only one in the world that, that has them. Uh, but... I built a series of courses called the 1% Club where I'm getting a lot of people reaching out to me uh, through this COVID. Uh, you know, they started a Robin Hood account. They did have a little bit of success. Uh, they have this aspirations of becoming a trader, just a full-time trader, just like me. Um, so I designed these courses to be from someone who's never traded a day in their lives to fully automated uh, and it's about six weeks worth of time. And I'm going to be right there with you guys step by step uh, and teaching you everything I've learned in the last decade of trading. All right, enough about plugging my courses and all the other stuff. Let's jump to the charts. All right. So let's look at Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. I'm on the one hour. Uh, I have Knoxville Divergence on, so we can see we had Divergence here. We hit Support. Uh, we're trading above the weekly pivot, but R2 is all the way up here. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to turn on these other levels this week. Uh, I've really fallen in love with these other Fibonacci levels here. So R1, which these are Fibonacci you know, retracement levels, uh, on the week. So R1, we're not quite there. We're in between the, the pivot and R1. So and we're in an upward trend. So logic would tell us it's going to at least get to there before we really see any big reversal. And we don't have any, any sort of last week resistance levels that we need to be. We actually broke above that one. So that one's going to be my bullish zone. So basically, if price comes back down here and retests this, I'm going to look for a long up to there. But where we're sitting right now is we're bumping up against, we're finding a little bit of resistance here at this level. But there's really nothing over here to confirm that. So, we, you know, it'd be a really bad time to take a, a buy trade. Uh, but, you know, if it comes back down here, I'd want to be long. Uh, if, if we do show a lot of resistance here, it's not a bad sell trade intraday down to here. But I do think we're going to end the week at least on that R1 level. All right, let's check out another pair. Australian dollar, Swiss franc. All right, Australian dollar, Swiss franc. So again, we're above the weekly pivot. We're in this nice uptrend. Look at that retest. Man, that was that's a perfect setup, guys. Uh, when price jumped above the 200 EMA, that's your sign. It broke this resistance level. Be patient. You had had three hours of it telling you, ha, ha I'm going to be bullish. Then you got the retest. That would have been a great entry, especially on this, you know, indecision pin bar. Then uh, that's where you would take your long. We missed it here at LNFX because I'm trying a bunch of new intraday stuff. But we're in an upward trend. Uh, it's logical and we're going to end up up there. But 
I'd wait for a good pullback. Possibly a retest of that. Okay. There we go. You got to wait for that confirmation. That That's cheap. That's a cheap place to buy that buy. That's what I'm going to be looking for here uh, for that continuation. Um, actually, you know what? Yeah. 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 Sorry. Uh, Australian dollar JPY. All right. Guys, look. We have. This is what we're looking for. We have found resistance on R2, and we have double topped on it. You can see right here, I'm predicting this move. Now I got this arrow is way too, way too aggressive. I like this move. Uh, I definitely like it down to R2, which would be the confirmation of that, that uh, fall. So uh, I like what I'm seeing right now. And, you know, outside of, outside, this is not a bad trade to jump in right now, actually. So I'm going to turn it red. So as soon as I'm done recording with you guys, I can take a closer look. Australian dollar NZD. All right. So we are testing, we are testing uh, support. There's, S1 pivot level buried in there. So we're testing S1 right now. We have dropped below the two the 200 EMA, which I always like to look for that move, that retest. Uh so not it's not it's a small buy, but then, you know, if we break this level, uh you want to play off these pivot levels all the way down to our daily support over here, which I don't even know why that's there. Okay, so we're, we're looking for a breakout of these levels uh, either way up. That's why Australian dollar, U.S. dollar. So uh, big bullish move. You can see on our Sunday setups, we found support right here and was would have been a great trade to hold since Sunday. A uh, little hard to do, but now we're finding some resistance, guys, right around R1. Now, what you're going to want to look for is actual hit of R1 uh, and a double top, some sort of reversal type pattern that is going to tell you <laughs> tell you whether you're right or not. Do, 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 do. Sorry, guys. I'm in the middle of a trade right now, and I'm trying to make sure it's moving. All right. Canadian dollar, Swiss franc. All right, we found support, and you can see that was right around our Sunday setup video, and we, you know, we're playing it up to this range. We're not going to really be too too uh, long biased. Uh, it's just it's gone above the pivot, and now logic would say it's probably going to come back up to R1 or come down a retest. So I'm going to look for the retest before I go long. Uh, if we break below it, we are above the 200 EMA, so we need to think long. Uh, Canadian dollar JPY. So we've blown past R2. Sorry, my charts. And we're finding a little bit of support right here. So uh, this R3, back to R2, man, that's it. Those are easy trades to do. Uh, whatever price hits that R3, boom. So we found support pretty tight uh we're testing that support so i am going to turn this one red and we're going to look at possibly taking a buy trade off of that support or we want to see it bust below and we have really good potential of back to the pivot right back to equilibrium here uh swiss frank jpy so we found Found support all the way up here, pretty close to R2. I was looking for this bounce. We got it. And uh, now, price is finding a little bit of support here in midday. Uh, my guess is we're probably going to come down, hit that 200 EMA and that uh, that pivot from where we're at now. And I'm not going to really look for a trade on this till we get there. Uh, EUR, AUD. Man, we got the S3. 
S3 bounce. So I guys, I love when price hits this S3. This is when we really got to start looking for signs of reversal. Okay. Now this, there's not enough here yet, but if we come up and we double bottom, man, that's a, that's a highly probable trade. And we want to look for back to that pivot eventually. Uh, if it doesn't happen this week, we could easily shoot for one of these levels. Okay. I like that move. Uh, I'm going to turn this one red. I want to check that out. Euro Swiss franc. So we are just bouncing on this support, which is S1. It's buried in our little support level there. Uh, so we're going to either break above, back to the pivot, or we're going to uh, perfectly bust below and look for that next pivot level. Euro GBP. All right, so we're finding support on our higher time frame. Let's shrink that down a little bit. And uh, it's it's broke below S1, but we are finding support right here. We don't have Knoxville divergence, so we're gonna wanna wait. We're gonna wanna wait until obvious break below or a good bounce. We might see it come back to that pivot. Euro JPY. Ugh, hit R1, divergence back to the pivot. It's kind of uh, nowhere right now. Euro NZD, we're sitting on S2 um, right now. Let me get rid of all these stupid arrows. We're sitting on S2 right now with not a lot of uh, momentum either way. So a good break down to S3 would be uh, or pop back up. I mean, you never know. Um, I like these S2s when they stall out looking for that move. But you got to have confirmation on that smaller time frame. I'm going to turn that one red. USD. EUR USD. So we have some, we're in a pretty good range here. This, this little freak out that we had here uh, this morning uh, got, got a lot of people tricked out. Me, myself included. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and be honest here. Uh, on this solid break, I got short. I got short, and I got short late, and I'm looking for the move here, and it came back up, stopped me out. Um, and then, honestly, guys, I looked for the retest here, and on the smaller time frame, it kind of showed. So I got short again and got beat. And then... Uh, I did not get short here. <laughs> so I missed this move. Um, you know, it happens. Not not proud of it, but it happens. Uh, but now, you know, on the hourly, we're finding support on the 200 EMA pretty well. So I, I do think we're, we are going to get a little bit more downside to this range than... Uh, you know, if we bust through, did it happen here? This is a probable move. EuroCAD. So EuroCAD, we hit S1 early in the week, or close to it, back to the pivot, and now it looks like we're going to come back up and test off a double bottom on S1. So I'd look for that move. GBP AUD, man, boring. It's just Hugging the pivot. Nothing going on. GBP Canadian dollar. Well, we hit S1 back to the pivot. Pretty boring price action here. I got this trend line drawn. Let me get rid of that. <clears throat> and then, uh, you know, we're, we're just, we're getting bigger candles here. We broke above the 200 EMA. Uh, so, you know, we need to look for that opportunity. GBP CHF, above the 200 EMA, we've double topped. Smaller time frame, double topped on R1. Um, you know, then now we're just kind of floundering. So, uh, I would use this R1 as a, a, a make or break. Let's make it yellow. A make or break. If we test it again, it's short. If we break through it, 
going to R2. So, uh, you know, we've tested it twice. That gives us the probability that we, you know, the bears are taking over here. Yeah, and we might see that downside start to happen here on the overnight. GBP, JPY, man, look at this bullish run here, finding lots of lots of divergence and resistance in this area. Uh, you know, I'm looking for the short. We hit R2, we've kind of stalled out, but man, if you enter to sell and got caught in these, these whipsaws, could be pretty tough. Um, it is a bullish, you know, overall it's bullish, but man, we found quite a bit of resistance right around R2. Just choppy waters. Uh, GBP USD. What do we got cooking here? Let's get rid of some of this noise. So we got a little bit of support here off of this S1. Um, we got a good launch off of that. Uh, 200 EMA rejection. It just blew past the pivot, and now we're kind of stalling around R1, but we're still <clears throat> still in a bullish bullish move. So uh, I would think I would you know we don't really have a play there unless we test this level and it tells us what we're gonna do. British pound NZD. We broke below the 200 EMA. We're below the pivot. You can kind of see a head and shoulders type pattern right here. Uh, so, you know, I think after a little bit of a pullback, you might see that move down to S1, which is right here, support here. Uh, bigger, you got a shoulder, bigger head, shoulder. So, you know, we might see some downside on this pair. It's pretty good downside. You can see my little box trading up here. We are looking for that double top last week, and we got it. Um, yeah, I mean, I we kind of broke below this former support. So we could have a good overnight downside on here. NZD, CAD. Man, we, we're almost to R1. I'm going to get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. It's just clogging up our life. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, so, well, we're above the 200 EMA, and we're not quite to R1 yet. So I think we're gonna get to R1, and then we're wanting to, we're gonna want to see what we're gonna what happens there. NZD CHF we've popped above the 200 EMA and the weekly pivot, and we're almost to R1. I want to see what happens when we get there. NZD JPY. Um, I don't know why that's red. NZD, JPY. Man, we're finding resistance on R2. Uh, not a bad play if we retest it and confirm it back to that pivot. Or the 200 EMA is always a good target on these type. Let's get rid of some of these boxes. All right. NZD JPY, I'm going to leave red. NZD USD. So, in my journeyman channel, we caught this we caught this uh short off the pivot. Uh we got short off of this pivot, got a little bit of wins. Uh I got short here again and uh didn't take the profit and ended up breaking even. But now we are bullish, guys. I think where it's sitting right now, we're going to test that line. I mean, it's not a bad move still. 13 pips. We're 13 pips away from testing that line. Um, and we're going to want to see what it does there. This is a pretty, pretty big bullish move. So I would expect a little bit more of a pullback. And that's not a bad buy. If you get a really good pullback, get that break up. And not a bad buy. Okay, USD CAD. Man, tough pair. Uh, we took a small bullish trade earlier today, uh, right around 7 a.m. We caught a little bit of profit here in the Journeyman channel. Uh, but looks like we're finding good support, finding really good support. 
Uh, we bust above this little range right here. Uh, so I think we might make a move. Might make a move. Or, the, you know, we're support on S1. We might get shook it out. So I would wait till price is there and you get another good confirmation. Uh, USD CHF. Just hugging this. Hugging this. Just hugging that weekly pivot. Nothing to report. USD JPY, one of my favorite pairs for intraday. I uh, got ripped up today, I will tell you that. I was looking long. I was looking long off of this. You know, we, I should have known because we pretty much double topped, but above the pivot. And I got long. <laughs> I got long right here, got stopped out, and then. Uh, just didn't didn't go my way today but where we sit now is we popped all the way down to the 200 ema we're in a make or break zone and here's why we are testing former support or former resistance so there's a lot of long potential guys right now we're not quite to the pivot that we've made an attempt to touch the pivot this week you know after we broke above price likes to come back and oh like like high five it before it really does what it wants to do. But man, that we got a really good buy trade setting up um, right now. If, you know, this could be the little fake out, the retest of the 200 EMA and then bam. So you really want to make sure you are in this trade correctly. All right. Well, that is... The weekly midweek review, uh, guys, if you want more information, if uh, you want someone who trades uh, the markets each day, makes a living from it, uh, reach out. Uh, I'll put my calendar link, Calendly link here in the YouTube. Uh, I love chatting with you guys. If you got questions, you want to chat with me, you want to ask me questions about the course. Uh, you want you want to figure out how to get into my free Telegram channel, how to find me on uh, here on TradingView. You just want to talk. You want to tell me your story. Whatever. I'll put that link in there. Um, but have a great week, and let's go make some money together. Over and out.